Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. We're going to do something a little bit different today. So we're not out on our adventures this week. So we're just going to, we thought we'd update you basically on what our plans are for the new year. But before we do that, we'd like to tell you a little bit about where we've come from, um, how we got started, why we started blogging, uh, where we've been last year, obviously what we're doing next year, and maybe some plans for the far future. Mm, yeah. So stay tuned with us today and you'll, you'll find out what we're up to. So I'm going to go into a bit about how we actually got the van and, and what sort of drived us forward to get the van. Um, it's something that I've always wanted to do and before the van even came along we I was camping and stuff like that so I did take Jodie out on a, a camping trip um, that she weren't too keen on but you did enjoy what it was all about no I didn't mind it but I didn't want to be doing that every single holiday yeah so yeah. getting out the tent packing it up and all that sort of stuff because so, I liked hotel holidays and comforts yeah, and I so, yeah, yeah and it was always a dream of mine to get a motorhome anyway um, but we had a wedding um, that we were planning and we were going to get married. Covid sort of delayed that and put that back a year. Um, but our honeymoon was actually going to be in Portugal. And just before, after we got married, just before the honeymoon, um, we got a message to say um, the flights have basically been cancelled. So that holiday was now cancelled for our honeymoon. Um, and we didn't really have time to do anything else about it. So that's when um, Jodie said to me, um, well, why don't we just go and get a motorhome? Start looking at them originally. Well, start looking at <laughs> yeah, them originally. Yeah, straight, jump straight in. We <laughs> was, uh... I don't know, it was probably the second one we looked at. I don't know. No, we, we did... Um... <laughs> We did something we wouldn't advise anyone else to do. Um, we found one on eBay and because of COVID, we couldn't visit, because we actually got COVID mm. um, when we were looking at this motorhome, we couldn't actually go and see it. So we put um, a thousand pound deposit down, didn't we? Yes, yes. Um, so which I wouldn't advise anyone to do. We were just new to it because um, of COVID and really lucky. We got a good vibe from the guy anyway, didn't we? So, we did, we did, yeah. but you know, we were a bit naive to the scams that we <laughs> hear of these days that are out there. So we were so lucky. We were lucky uh, yeah. and, and took that risk, but we ended up with our first motor home. And if you go right back to the beginning of, of our vlogs, then you'll see that. Our Ace Nepali. Uh, Ace Nepali. Yeah. And um, yeah, that started our travels um, in the motor home adventure. We did a week in Cornwall for our honeymoon. Yeah. And because it was late notice, because the cancellation of the flights was late notice, mm. we ended up on a campsite, but the tiniest bit of grass on yes. the edge, they tried yes. to fit us in. Yeah. So we had no electric, nothing like that. And it was our first experience, but we were right next to a bus route. Mm. Um, so we could get out a lot and go and visit places. Yeah, and, and like, we explored Cornwall quite a lot. And we actually yeah. used the van as a car as yeah, well when yeah, we, we first started around, we yeah. drove around we parked up in you know museums and all sorts of stuff however it was only what 6.2 meters in length so it's a lot smaller than the one we've got now yeah and i absolutely loved that week and i realized how much i loved it when we had the second week in blackpool in a hotel like a bnb mm. i just thought after that week i thought never again we're, we're definitely using the motorhome more often mm. the bug was there then wasn't it to, oh, to go out and it. explore in the motorhome <laughs> but just having your own space um wherever you go i just absolutely loved that um like taking you a little flat around with you your little apartment <laughs> um so, yeah so that's why that's why we started um motorhoming um and we didn't vlog straight away did we no we didn't no no um we did watch other people vlogging and we thought you know it was really interesting and we religiously watched people every week yeah and it was basically <laughs> just to get tips you yeah. know tricks um how do they use their motorhome where do they go in their motorhome yeah and when we were watching them we started to like their stories and who they were and their personalities mm. um and eventually we thought you know this could be something we should try and yeah. just see how it goes um so we our first um trip that we vlogged was Newlands wasn't it? The Newlands yeah. Yeah, yeah. near Chamworth? Chamworth? Yes something that, yeah there's Cham Charmouth. Charmouth. That's it, That's yeah. it yeah. So we we went then and just picked up the camera and we didn't know what we were doing basically we had no proper mic we just went for it <laughs> um, and we had no clue what we were doing really but it it was good wasn't it we enjoyed it. We That's, enjoyed doing that, it. We enjoyed yeah. doing it so because we enjoyed doing it we thought why why are we doing this? Mm. Um, and we had a long think about it and a chat and we decided if we can get to a point 
down the line because at this point remember we didn't have any monetization on anything so we was thinking if we can get to a point where it pays for a few campsites for us or a little bit of the takes a little bit off the traveling of the cost for us then that would be fantastic most of all we enjoy sharing what we're doing and hoping it helps other people yes um, just like how we were helped when we mm. first started youtube was a big tool to us yeah um and yeah it helped us on our journey with many things really even to pick in a van you know um and to pick in a campsite so you know for us youtube was a great tool uh, and we wanted to put our experiences online uh, to help others uh, in the same way as long as it's it's still fun we'll still be doing it yeah and that brings me to reviews now reviews is a bit of a shady area really because we do get approached by companies to do reviews for them you can lose um, your audience from doing reviews if you mm. keep doing them and doing them however we do want to do some yes, um, well because you know the time and effort we put into to making the vlogs um, if it's something we need yeah. then and, and something useful to you guys out there then um, because we've been offered stuff that ain't even useful for, for the motorhome or traveling you know we turn down a lot anyway and we've only done a few reviews like hair products for me <coughs> to, to you know, show or, or jewelry or which, skiing yeah. equipment and stuff like that so <laughs> we, it's, it's not of an interest to you you or us um, but if it's something that we can benefit from and at that same time we want to try and reverse that and if you guys can benefit from so yeah, we're, we're trying to keep it so it it benefits the channel and, and you as the audience watching us mm. um, rather than just doing it for the sake of it. So there will be some on the channel, it won't be overloaded and mm. it'll just be something that, that's beneficial basically. Yeah. So uh, do do keep tuned And, and not only that, yeah. we will keep the, uh, the reviews on a Sunday. Um, yeah, they won't be on our normal, so they won't. unless it's something within the vlog yeah. um, that we're showing. If it's just a, a individual review, that will be on a Sunday, on a not Sunday. on our normal Thursday. Yeah. So it won't take over a, a normal vlog. So we had a really good year last year um, yeah. after we'd obviously we got the motorhome and with the vlogging and everything. Uh, but we did do a lot of campsites, didn't we? We did, yeah, um, so last year. Um, especially having this as a new motorhome to us, we've done a lot of campsites. Yeah, and they are getting more expensive, as you know. Um, so we we did campsites. We went to Cornwall. Mm. Um, we went out to Europe, as you see. Absolutely yeah. loved that. Um, but this year, we're looking at not doing as many campsites, aren't we? As such, yeah, it'll still be a site. We are members uh, of different clubs, though, aren't we? We are, yes. So yeah. um, we are motorhome... Which ones are we? So we're Caravan and Camping Club. That's a recent one. Uh, we're um, the Caravan and Motorhoming Club. And we're members of the uh, Motor Caravanners Club. So that's the three memberships we've got. Um, but I think we're planning to use the Motor Caravanners Club for a bit this year. Um, some of the CSs and CLs off the other two clubs, but I think we're trying to going to try and do rallies this year, aren't we? Yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot of rallies from two of the clubs. We've always been looking at stuff, haven't we? We've got a bit of a plan, but not rigid. We haven't booked everything, but we've no. got ideas of where we're going. Mm. So we are going to be doing um, rallies where we're going to jump on for a cheaper. Um, nights stay yeah, yeah. Um, meet some people get to know people and we will be taking you around the area yes me? so yeah. we're doing a lot of that and if it's a little bit more remote we'll be doing some hiking walking taking you out doing that because we are trying to keep fit as well aren't we, are. we? yes so. we are yeah the other thing we're going to be doing is we are going to be attending a few shows again like we did last year um, but we're looking at a few more Warner shows um, we won't be doing the end Easty, unless there is something specifically that we know is there yeah, to show you. If we want you, something. Or if we want something, yeah. then, then we will go. But we won't be doing the NECs. Um, we will be doing um, like Van Life Festival. Yes. We'll be there. The first one, a show that we're doing is the... Newbury. Is the Newbury one. Um, we will be there. That's in May. Yeah. Um, so we'll be attending that one. So if you are there and you want to come and say hello, just, just come, come and grab a sticker. a sticker if you yeah. want to. That's fine. Or say hello in passing, whatever. That's great. We will keep you up to date on our socials of what shows we're going to as we yeah. book them so you will know. Yeah. And with that as well, mm -hmm. when we get anywhere, 
um, when we arrive somewhere, we're going to start making more of an effort on our socials to yeah. say where we are. Um, yes, definitely. Yeah. So we do time, use in the real socials. time in real time because yeah. our videos might be slightly. Yeah, out. that's right. And then just like anyone, you know, your vlogs are always slightly out because you have to record and then edit mm. and then upload. Yeah. So yeah, so the socials we use for more of a real time scenario of what we're doing. So the exciting things we're doing this year is we are actually going to be going into Europe twice. So we're going to do two six weeks blocks. Um, now the first one we are looking at basically going across on the tunnel again. We're going over on the, uh, I suppose it'll be the north side of France and Spain into Portugal. So we want to do a bit of Portugal this year, but we've extended it for another two weeks. So where we went out last year for four weeks, this week's going to be around six weeks. We can ha actually have our honeymoon in Portugal. And that's what we're going to try and <laughs> that's do. That's what we're yeah. going to do, we'll take the, the motor home, yeah. So we will head down to the Algarve, so it will be a bit of a trip again. Um, but I think with the six weeks it'll be more manageable um, without as much of a, a rush through France um, and we could should be able to enjoy a bit of France a little bit more. Um, hopefully not take as many toll roads. Now I'm not saying I won't take toll roads because I like ease of travel um, and if the toll roads um, is a reasonable price and it's going to uh, offer me a good bit of ease of travel then I'll, I'll take it properly. But we are going to look at taking non-toll roads as well. Um, and then once we come back from that trip we are then going to be heading out again so the first trip is going to be around April um, and then the second trip is going to be uh, back end of September I think we're looking at yeah so I do want some sunshine again yeah in that time we're not quite sure where we're going yet for that one we haven't no. got any plans as such yet so no so that one's open but we've got time to plan that mm. one uh, we're more planning the first six weeks of our travel. We'll probably know by the middle of the year what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep you we'll keep you up to date with that one. So we will also be doing some videos on um, van maintenance things like that as and when things come up because we've still got um, some outstanding warranty work that needs to be done. Yeah, we have. Yeah. So that's been going on for a long time now, pretty much since we got the van. Um, there is one thing that has been done and that was the um, sensor for the outside air temperature. Um, so that's been completed, but I've probably got about six six jobs. Um, <clears throat> and obviously every time another thing comes up, then I'm adding to the list. Uh, but we're having trouble, not with the company we're going with to get the work done. Um, and I can't even say if it's swift or not, because what they're saying is it's the companies that they get the parts from. They haven't been delivered. Mm. They're taking a long time to get delivered. So I've, I can't get the parts um, uh, sorted out and fixed until until they're in. Um, but you have put them forward, so it's still, even if it ended up going, which it's not going to, but going no. over the three years, yeah. you still, because you put them in, um, they are still honor that. Even yes, if it and I think the only thing that yeah. I'm, a little bit annoyed about with that is they can still build the new vans so the parts are there um, and they should look after the customers that have got a van as well um, and, and send them parts forward but um, we'll see so hopefully you know it's a new year hopefully all these parts will get fixed and, and sorted out and luckily it's not something that prevents us from traveling <laughs> yes. so, so yeah. that's that's a good thing and also with it being the new year we have uh, got some new year resolutions well we have yeah, yeah. as uh, everyone does yeah yeah so we've been in a van a lot and traveling around a lot um and obviously busy at home and things like that we we want to still keep fit mm. and it's really important i think when you're in a van that you find that time to to keep fit and healthy make sure you're eating right and not just getting takeaways because you're away for a weekend for example in the van just making sure that you maybe cook something at home take it with you um, you know maybe freeze it then take it with you and cook it you know make sure you're staying healthy in that way and I've got um, a personal trainer uh, background where I'm trained in it I've never practiced as a personal trainer I have practiced as a life coach I've got other qualifications and I've recently finished my personal trainer qualification which I started years ago when I was super fit and mm. um, so I'm wanting to take my own advice now so this is a year where I definitely want to get my fitness back and I want to share some maybe some tips about how to keep healthy in the van as well so mm. that'll that'll come out here and there not overload just a little bit within the vlogs now and yes. again yeah and and the same for me you know we do do a lot of walking yeah. um, 
but I have noticed that since we're traveling more, you know, fitness is a lot more difficult than when I was um, just at home and, and being able to use the gym all the time. So uh, it's about adapting um, what I've done in the gym and using it while away in the motorhome. Um, and it can be difficult because you feel like you're always on holiday. Um, but yeah, it's something that we've got to keep doing and that's yeah. that's what I want to drive forward for myself as well. And we want to share that with you because some people that are watching this now might feel, yeah, we're in the same boat. We're, mm. we're, we're not doing the fitness we should be doing because especially in the, like the winter weather yeah. as well where it's not as nice to get out and go for a walk. I mean, we absolutely love hiking and we will be taking you mm. on our hikes and stuff when we go out because we, we want to share places maybe you can't, not everyone can get to yeah, like when we exactly. did the fort in Breen yeah. you know that mm. was that was high up a load of steps and right so we want to be able to share places like that with you as well Yeah. but then I want to share tips if you can't do that mm. like how you can keep fit if you can't get out and do that walking if it is bad weather you know mm. things like that so yeah. that's the sort of stuff that will be coming in and hopefully you'll see us looking fitter as the year goes through <laughs> we'll see yeah we'll see uh, one reason for publicly saying this is when you've publicly said something you you have to do it we're now accountable aren't <laughs> we're we? now accountable <laughs> <laughs> so that's what one have of the we reasons. done <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. out there now we have to stick to it <laughs> yeah jody's getting fit <laughs> you are <laughs> Also, we're looking at long-term future, future stuff as well. Um, and I've got a brother that lives in Australia. Mm. Um, so we'd like to, at some point in a few years' time, and if you stay with us and we're still vlogging, it will be vlogged. Yeah. Um, hiring out uh, an RV over in Australia. That will be exciting. Yeah, spending That'll be a, a big trip. Spending a couple of days with my brother and then just <clears throat> going off and seeing places. He's got loads of ideas for us. That, that's yeah. great. Um, and we also are interested in the US as well, aren't we? We are. Hiring yeah. um, an RV there and, and going and seeing some places. Yeah, going and see as um, many states as we can. Do, do as much as we can in the time we've got, basically. Mm. So they are our long-term um, future plans, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, big trips. Yeah. Big, big trips. Now you've got an idea of basically where we come from and where we're going for 2024. Um, I would say just look out on our socials and we'll keep you updated with that. And we will mention it in vlogs, different plans as the year evolves because change, you know, changes always happen. You know, we've got a, a rough plan of what we're doing. Um, and if you are going to be at any of the shows or any sites and you see us, then come and say hi. Uh, but that's about it from us um, yeah. until the next vlog. Once again, thank you to everyone that's been tuning into the channel and subscribed. And um, we will catch you on the next vlog. So we'll see you then. Bye. See ya.